Welcome back friends. Today we are at a local manufactured home community and we are at a trailer that we were at about two weeks ago where I had to climb up underneath because the lady said that she had sewer smell coming into her home and I discovered that one of the drain pipes underneath the kitchen had come apart. Well, now she's claiming that she has the same problem so I got to get back up underneath there and find out what's going on. One of the cleanest underneath mobile homes you'll ever see. All nice black Bisqueen. We got to head over in that direction to where that kitchen is because that's where she's having the problem. Okay, so this is where the problem happened the first time. That connection for the kitchen was just falling out. The glue joint had given out and I made that repair. So it looks good. There's no water or anything down here. And I'm not smelling the stink I had up here the last time. Now there's still a funky water under here because I not only found a broken drain the last time I was out here, there was a giant dead rat that was underneath here as well. And so it's still stinking like that, like a dead rat. I'm wondering if there's any more. We need to look around. All right, so you guys have seen me do a video in the past about these little pro vents and when they can go bad and they stick shut, causing stoppages because of lack of airflow inside of a manufactured home. Well, in this case, I believe this thing right here is sticking open, causing sewer smell. There's no problem with the flow, but she's getting some sewer mats coming in to the kitchen area as well as an odor. And this is a smoking gun, so we're going to have to replace that. I mentioned the fact I'm going to get back underneath the manufacturer home, and I've got some water to pine saw solution here, and we're going to dump it all over the floor back in there to try to get rid of some of that old dead rat smell that we had from the last time. Hopefully this will be the end of that story. All right, so before we go in there and replace that pro vent, mechanical vent, we're gonna get back up underneath the manufacturer home. I'm gonna dump the pine saw all over down there to try to get rid of the odor. All right, so right there is where I found that dead rat the last time we were out here. It's the only thing we could come up with for right now. I diluted some pine saw. I'm just gonna dump it over this entire region, just let it set. It smells a lot better than what it has been smelling down here. So before we go inside to replace this pro vent, I'm gonna to explain to you the reason why we're doing this. First of all, one of the complaints she was having is this, she was getting a sewer gas odor. That's why she thought this was recall and the pipe had come back apart. We already went up underneath the trailer and found out that that pipe is still together. Also, she was saying that she had sewer mats that come in. If you take a look at the underside of that pro vent, you see that? Those are sewer gnats. The mechanical device in here has failed, allowing those sewer gnats to get inside the house and the sewer gas to escape as well. We're gonna replace that with an Odie brand. Cut the old dab draw and glue this in. This next few scenes, you're not gonna hear me do any talking because the lady just had a bunch of guests show up, so it's gonna be a lot of people in there, but I'm gonna try to get as much footage as I can, so here we go. Sewer bugs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's on the wall right there. Even, even when I'm doing something, I know that's what I'm doing. Yeah. 
That's all the time we got for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. Remember, like I said earlier, the original reason why I came out to this manufactured home was because she smelt sewer gas. I got up underneath the home when I came the first time and found out that the, the, the drain to the kitchen had come apart and was laying down on the ground. I made that repair and at that same time located a dead rat in the same area which I pulled out of there. So she still had the same smell. I ended up going back underneath there the second time today and we found out that the repair I made was intact, but I also poured some pine saw and stuff down there to try to dilute the smell from that old dead stinky rat. Then I went inside and is when I found out this ProVent mechanical vice had gone bad and you can see the sewer gnats that had been getting in and out of that thing. That's why she was getting sewer gas as well as sewer gnats up underneath the kitchen sink. Hopefully this resolves that issue. If you happen to have this issue inside the manufacturer home, this is the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to take a look at. Got any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thank you so much. Until next time, it's been Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.